All right, so how can you set up product descriptions that actually convert? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I set up my product descriptions that have increased the sales and conversions of my store and some key things that you guys should be looking out for and also for those of you guys that stay to the end of the video I'm going to be sharing some secret tactics you guys can use to find other people's product descriptions in their stores to give you some inspiration that you can kind of go by if you ever run out of ideas of what to include in your product descriptions or if you ever want to see you know how other people are also doing it so for those of you guys that are brand new to my channel welcome on over the VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society is out for us to do so of course if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM and for those of you guys that are watching if you guys want to see a lot more videos of me sharing and going over uh, specific things that I'm doing in my Shopify dropshipping store make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video and of course any questions you guys have along the way drop them in the comments below and I'll be getting back to you guys what determines or what kind of things go into having a product description that actually converts well that's a great question so there's numerous things you want to include in your product descriptions and of course like some of you guys watching saying like why are product descriptions important well that's actually what sells the customer right after they're into your store because customers usually have you know different questions about the product they have doubts potentially that you know keep them sometimes back from actually placing the order and they want to know more about the product if it actually if they're going to enjoy it because shopping online of course it's different than shopping in person so you need to make sure you're covering specific things that way you're eliminating all potential doubt for the customer you're making them feel comfortable actually going ahead and making a purchase in your store one of the first things i do right off the bat is i want to make sure that my product description is super easy to read right and the way that i do that is i usually use the heading three right here i have a i'm going to go over my highlight this this is an example product description that i have put together for you guys and i'm actually going to break it down and show you guys why i have everything that i have in there but i'm going to show you guys what the heading three looks like so it's going to be boom heading three you can see it's nice and super simple to read they don't have to squint and zoom into their computer zoom into their phone any of that right the process that i have behind you know every making a sale is super smooth and simple right i want to make everything as easy as possible for every single customer that comes to my store so that's why i do that now one of the first things you want to do when it comes down to your product description you always want to start with the benefits right letting the customer know what are the features of actually getting this product why do they want it again find ways to make the customer want the product even more and one of the ways you can do that I'm actually gonna show you guys right now a product that I'm gonna use as an example is this neck pillow I, I found it on Aliexpress it's this one right here I didn't do too much research on it I'm actually just using it as an example for you guys to kind of show you guys how I write the description for this product after I write this out I'll put it through like a, a spell check just to make sure everything's spelled correctly so I don't make any mistakes All right you can see some of what Aliexpress has for the description right? you can check it out to get some ideas for the description or what people usually have on their store which is a huge mistake is that they'll just have this in their product description right they'll have the material the weight the shape the use of fabric and things like that and all this stuff is the boring stuff right you want to have more of like this kind of style where you're actually writing a message to the customer this is what Aliexpress has written it is a versatile versatile pillow that changes its shapes in seconds for per perfect support you can bend it twist it shape it to fit your needs support your neck ankles knees or anywhere you need total comfort you can use this pillow anywhere on a plane in a car watching tv or playing games cool so they have a pretty generic description written on there i'm going to show you guys now the description that i wrote the total pillow is the amazing versatile pillow that changes its shape in seconds for perfect support so you can bend it twist it and shape it to fit your needs the total pillow is filled with tension easing micro beads and covered with brushed microfiber stretchable fabric for comfort the total pillow supports your neck ankles and knees or anywhere you need total comfort you can use a total pillow anywhere on a plane in a car watching TV playing video playing or playing games I should put it probably included or in there the amazing versatile pillow that cradles your comfort and then I have I'm going into the I'll, that goes into the next part but you can see that the message that I wrote in here it's pretty similar to what Aliexpress already had I believe when I first did it I actually got the idea from Aliexpress and then I just added in more things to it and simply you know you don't have to come up with the product descriptions yourself right this sounds a whole lot better 
than what AliExpress has written, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys would agree. And all I did was add in some extra keywords in there. So look out for things like that. You wanna make it custom to the product itself, but also to the type of customer that you're attracting, right? So obviously for pillows, it's a little more general, but if you have specific niche related products like cats, dogs, or you know, whatever, hiking, or hiking enthusiast, you can use things like that to make it custom to those kind of customers. That way they can actually see that, again, this, this product, makes perfect sense for them right they can relate to it, they can connect and that's gonna make them want it even more now the next part is you want to make sure you're including images or video usually images of course you can usually find but if you can find uh, videos that's a whole lot better because usually what video does is you can find videos that are demonstrating the product and being able to physically see like a product being used uh, how it's made maybe or just how it overall looks is a lot better and it's a lot easier for a customer to wrap their head around. This is supposed to be a 3D tiger, right? Uh, I actually think that people are drop shipping these, but this is supposed to be a 3D tiger. This is a perfect example, right? So I saw this tiger on Amazon and I saw it as like this cool, it like lights up as well. I saw it as like this dope tiger that's gonna light up and it's gonna be like, maybe like a holographic type deal and it's gonna be huge, right? That's what I'm seeing because on the picture, on Amazon, that's what I, that's what it looks like. So I don't, I didn't have any idea that it was actually going to be the size, right? So I ordered the product, and when it got here, of course, it was way smaller than I thought. It didn't look as good, and a whole lot more. So people, you know, obviously now everybody, my boy, um, my boys are laughing at me, of course, because I'm over here thinking this thing is going to be dope and like, you know, out of this world. Like I'm, I'm gassing this thing up, saying like this lamp. You guys aren't going to believe it. Uh, you guys are going to want one. Wait till you, wait till you guys see. You guys are going to be hating on it, and you guys are obviously going to want your own and a whole lot more. And honestly, when it got here, like it, it was actually a joke it was on me because this thing, like it lights up, but it's like not even that good. And it's again, it's super small. I'm telling you guys on the image, I'm thinking it's at least going to be like this big, right? Like the size of a poster or something, because that's what it makes it look like. Now, of course, I probably could have done a better job at like looking at the dimensions and a whole lot more, but uh, for sure, if I would, there would have been a video there that I could have seen, it definitely would have gave me the right idea, you know, right off the jump. Because now uh, I'm thinking twice if I want to order anything that's like that 3D line, right? I'm thinking twice about it because now I want to make sure I double check to make sure that it's going to be the right size. So you're going to run into customers that had that same experience and they're going to be double checking everything before they buy it. So you want to make it so that super easy for them to see the actual product. And if you can find a video, that's a game changer because for sure, we've actually tested it and vid videos for sure increase the conversions on your product pages because again, it's giving that physical reality to the customer for them to see. That's one example. That's why on this product description that I have right here, you guys can see, I, don't, I didn't have a video for this one because I couldn't find one that didn't have there's another thing you gotta look out for is like making sure that things don't have other people's, you know, uh, watermarks on them. So I couldn't find one that didn't have a watermark, which somebody else's logo. So I'm using this picture, but this picture, you can see that the type of picture that I'm using, let me see if I can make it a little bigger. The kind of picture that I'm using, um, again, shows different angles of the products, shows different ways they can use it, and a whole lot more. And that gets into the next part that I actually wanna go over is, you wanna make sure you're including on how to use the product, right? Exactly what the features that it has, how it can be used different ways or forms. So you can see this picture. Again, you can use it for lumbar support, chair cushion, floor pillow, headrest, seat cushion. You can use it on a plane, in the car, watching TV, playing games. And again, I have another description written under, Total pillow is like half pillow, half transformer. It is meant to be able to bend and twist into different shapes and positions depending on what you need it for. This can come in handy as not all planes and trains are designed the same, so you need something that can change with the environment. I'm letting the customer know how exactly this product can be used pretty much anywhere that they go because it's, it's a travel pillow, so it's made to use on the go. So I'm letting them know how they can use it when they're on the go, exactly how. So that's super important because you want the customer to understand and see the benefit of the actual product and how it can be used. That's that part. The next part is with the shipping, you guys wanna make sure you're making it super clear. The shipping, you always wanna make it clear. You wanna let them know, is it gonna take two or three days? Is it gonna take a week? Or is it gonna be three to five weeks, right? Obviously, for the products that we have that take three to five weeks, it's not the best thing to say. But one of the things you can write is, 
you know, due to high demand. It's not the most legit thing to say, but again, you want to work with your customer and obviously you don't want to miss out on any sales just because of shipping. So you can write in, you know, you can say a message like due to high demand, this product will take three to five weeks for shipping, right? For those of you guys that stuck with me all the way to the end, two things you guys can use to get some ideas for product descriptions is one of the first one is you guys can check Amazon and it's real simple. If I was going to check Amazon, all I'm going to do is go here. I'm going to type in on here that have um, different product descriptions. So you can use this to get ideas. And again, you can type this out and include different words yourself. And you can literally look up Google. You can literally Google enticing words for product descriptions and Google will help out as well. If you go on Google and you pull up, let's say this product right here, you search it, it's gonna come up with literally different websites that have it. So I can click on here, ramadeals.com, and here I have a product description that's written out perfectly, right? So you guys can get some ideas and see, you know, what kind of product descriptions you can write. So make sure, of course, you have a call to action at the end because you wanna remind the customer that if they wanna get the deal, they wanna make sure that they obviously make the order now. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything I had for you guys to share and go over how you can set up product descriptions that convert. Make sure you guys implement and take action on this. You know, try it on your store and of course, you know, let me know how it goes for you. If you guys got value from this video, of course, drop a thumbs up for the boy. And any questions you guys have about every, anything I went over, make sure you drop it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next, oh, I almost forgot. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.